Well, happy Thursday, everyone. It's actually the last Thursday of the year, which means we're just a few days out from being out of this really crappy year that is 2020. But this week we are building the solar arch. So as you recall, if you watched um, when everything just breaks and was our electric motor mistake, you know that we ran into some issues with our solar and it wasn't enough. So we concocted a plan to build a solar arch and get two additional solar panels. So that is what we're doing this week. We're building that arch ourselves, like some pros, based on a design by the wonderful, wonderful Mr. Nick, who is beyond talented and creative and intelligent. So that's what we're doing this week. But as I promised last week, first up this week is going to be the installation of the bowsprit because we didn't get to it last week due to some things just going wrong. So first up on our agenda is to do that. So let's get started with that. And then once that's complete, we will hop on over to do the rest of the solar arch. Friggin' huge! Oh, oh, 24 inches is the only thing good for you? So the bowsprit is installed. It took us like a huge chunk of the day to get it done, but it's done. So we need to add one more bolt to it um, just for safety, um, but we'll get that done probably about the same time that we do the solar arch. So now that that is done, we have fulfilled our promise and we will continue on to building the solar arch. So stay tuned, that's up next. so cold as we speak it is 28 degrees outside I'm not wearing enough clothes but today we are metal bending and we haven't even mastered earth bending yet but that's how we roll here on Ixion so let's get this metal bent
Okay, so all the pipe bending is done officially. Um, unfortunately, there was a little bit of a mishap. They actually ended up crushing a piece of one of the pipes because there wasn't enough sand in it to prevent that from happening. You live and learn. This is the first time any of us have ever done this. Well, I haven't done anything. I'm just here to be pretty and give commentary and film. So outside of my comfort zone and out of my league. So I'm just here to watch them. But they recovered and everything is fine. Next up is going to be cutting the smaller pieces down to size that basically are the support beams um, that allow you to put the frame together and hold up the, you know, the panels themselves. So that's what's up on this agenda. I'm, we'll be glad to be done with this so we can actually get out of here because I'm freaking cold and I'm sick of being cold and I know you're tired of me complaining about it, so. Almost there. Now that we've done the bending and the cutting, it is time to take off the stern pulpit. But it is freaking cold. Really freaking cold. So it actually snowed um, <clears throat> like two days in a row. So everything's covered in snow. So we have to clean that off before we can even get started. More uh, like ice. On everything. Yeah, well it's frozen over now. Here, let's go see. For once I'm wearing a mask not because of COVID, but because it's cold. So we have to get this off and then once that's once we can actually have a place to stand, we will get the stern pulpit off so we can take it back to the house and finish up this solar arch. Oh my god, I'm cold. We need to get the hell out of here. Got a downward? Yep. Ooh, what was that? Yeah. The stern pulpit is off, which was unfortunately we didn't get a bunch of footage of. We ran into um, some issues with the bolts and forgot to move the GoPro. Say la um, So we're back at the house and we're getting ready to do some welding. And before anyone is concerned that <laughs> we don't know how to weld. Spoilers, we do. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we actually have um, a family member over who is a welder who is going to be doing all of this welding for us. Thankfully, so that's what's up next on this agenda. Let's get this ball rolling.
nice beautiful rented truck and we're about to go install the solar arch which is directly behind me this was a frustrating project for everybody involved it was something that was so kind of outside the purview of anything any of us have ever done um with the bending and the welding and the sand and then just things just did not kind of line up um so this was a really frustrating project for everybody but we're finally there we're finally done unfortunately due to some logistical issues the footage on this um, will be predominantly in time lapse, but it's just an installation. It's not the most exciting bit. The exciting bit was the bending and the welding. So, um, because as they install it, I have to return the truck because we don't have the rental for that long. <sighs> We're gonna get this installed, get the panels installed, and then that'll be the last project. That's it. And then it is time to move aboard, throw off the lines, and get the hell out of here. So, that's what we're doing now. It's upside down, but this is what it looks like. Unless we want to secure the top tray and these first. <laughs> it really makes no sense when you can't actually see it in position, so. Anyways, at the marina, about to take this sucker down. Thank you all for watching. We apologize for the delay in this video. During the week, we ran into some drama. Um, not our drama, but Hayden's drama. The Inner of Swan Song appears in 303. We toured and helped sail down. Um, so come back Thursday to watch what happened with that. I promise you, it's good. Like, really good. Not good, but it's, en it's enjoyable to watch. So come back next week for that. As for the projects, this would be like Schadenfreude. It kind of would be like Schadenfreude, yeah. yeah. So, um, and as in regards to our projects that we finished, um, the Bowsprit is arguably our favorite project. It looks the best, very little hiccups, and it just was great work all around. Nick truly did a phenomenal job in regards to that. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Coincidentally, the solar arch was the least favorite thing we've done because working with metal sucks. So, um, support us on Patreon so that we can afford to get it redone by a professional. Link for that is down below. <laughs> we just installed the panels so we can't truly say how efficient they are. Combined, they're 800 watts. They're bifacial, so they stand the potential to get a little bit more than that. But keep watching, and as we put it through the ringer, we'll have a better idea as to how well they work. So that's it for this week. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share. Tell everyone you know about us. Our New Year's resolution is to hit a thousand subscribers. So let's make that happen, guys. Come back next week and watch the drama. Bye!